Uh, hello folks, uh, this is V3TS and uh, I wanted to show you a little project that we've been working on here. Um, it's a project to remote control tune a Harris RF550 uh, receiver. Uh, these are a great receiver but they do have one um, downside which is the fact that they um, they are tuned by a series of uh, up-down switches and uh, actually this was an option um, uh, most of them use decade tuning uh, uh, mechanical tuners for each digit um, anyway the project here was to uh, use an adreno uh, and uh, to mate it to the uh, I.O. connectors on the receiver to allow it to, uh, to tune with the VFO and uh, it was a pretty e easy project in the sense that uh, uh, the Adreno talks in 5 and 0 volts and uh, the receiver also uses that. So what was necessary for the conversion uh, was only the Adreno, uh, a rotary encoder and um, uh, a cable from the, uh, from the receiver to the, uh, to the tuning network. And I'll demonstrate this. Uh, here we are, we're tuning in um, one kilohertz increments and uh, we're going up the band. And uh, it's pretty smooth tuning and I have no problems with it. And we can tune down. Now I can select each, uh, each digit that I want to tune. So now it'll move to the left if I hit the switch. And now we're tuning in tens of kilohertz. This is very handy for tuning the broadcast band because you can automatically move from channel to channel. So that moves us up. This moves us down. You can tune pretty quickly or slow it down. And uh, moving faster still. Uh, this would be for getting uh, basically from, uh, from a high band down to a low band. So if you wanted to change, go from, uh, from, uh, from 160 up to 10 meters, this would be the, uh, uh, the switch to use. And uh, let's see, we'll go back to about where we were. And I'll go back to the slowest tuning. Oops. And uh, let's tune down to a station I know. And there's good old CHU coming in. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you um, have any questions, you can either email me or leave a comment. Thank you and uh, stay out of trouble.